So continuing forward, we're going to bring in the virtual people that we plan on using within the space. The first one is going to be colleague. So the position that I want my colleague to be is going to be over to the left of this area. I'm sorry, over to the right. And we're going to want him facing um, this direction. So we're going to simply rotate him over this way. So you can do so by hand, or if you know where you want them located, you can type in the values directly. And their position is negative eight dot zero two eight. So you can either move them by hand or directly type in the values here. Otherwise, there are properties for each individual, which is is the project act or is the individual active, or is the person behaving in a different manner. Um, I believe that this UI will be changed to is static, which means that if a user is going to be walking into something, it will not be able to be moved. The other virtual person that we're going to want to drag in is this HR individual. And he, we are going to want to drop and have him facing our colleague, our other colleague here. The specific location I would like him to be is negative seven, four, nine, six. And there we go. I'm just going to have him rotate exactly 90 degrees. So now him and the colleague are facing each other. Next, we're going to go into the virtual objects. And here's where you are able to populate your space to resemble whatever visual style you would like. So I'm just going to quickly type in a few objects that I feel that are needed here, such as a blue potted plant, which I think would look nice in this little corner over here. Some office chairs for these two to sit on, if they so chose to do so. OK, and after placing them, I'm just going to rotate them around. Just make that one easy. Okay, a gray desk cabinet. Okay. And I'm going to add a door here as well so that it looks better placed here. And because my door does not quite fit my size of my location, I'm also going to scale it. So if I scale it in the x direction here, to 1.8, and scale it in the y by 1.2, you can see it now fits very neat neatly within my space. All right. Last thing I'm going to add is a wooden table between these two. I'm going to put that right there. All right. And 
if we wanted to, we can rotate it 90 degrees. So sit in between them like that. Now the last thing we're going to want to do is none of these objects are ones that we want the user to be able to affect or move in any way. So we're going to go through each of them and by either selecting them with the selection tool or by selecting the object in the hierarchy, like this, we're just going to make sure that every single object has this box checked. Okay. And with that, we have finished placing all of our objects within this space.